بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایکسلنسی دی پرائم منسٹر آف اسلامک ریپبلک آف پاکستان آنریبل فیڈرل منسٹرس سروس چیف جنرل اینڈ ایئر آفیسرس ڈسٹنگوش گیسٹ فرام پیپل ریپبلک آف چائنا لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹ مین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اٹ از مائی پرفارمڈ پرویلیج ٹو ویلکم یو ٹو دی انڈکشن سیرمنی of J-10C aircraft. Indeed, it is a historic occasion and, and I'm extremely grateful to the Prime Minister for gracing this event with this extreme presence. I also express my deep gratitude to all the distinguished guests for honoring us with their presence today. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a challenging time in the wake of evolving global and regional environment. The rapidly changing geostrategic environment has profound impact on the region as well as Pakistan. In addition, pace of changing technology in contemporary world continuously to alter the character of war at fast pace. Advancement in space, network, electronic warfare, cyberspace, nanotechnology, and miniaturization coupled with artificial intelligence have profoundly affected the traditional concept of national security and defense. In order to provide safe and secure environment to our national nation against all threat, the armed forces of Pakistan continue to synergize their effort, bridging capability gap through timely induction programs. Considering modern parameters of warfare, Induction of J-10C aircraft into Pakistan arsenal today is a result of one such combined effort which merit, merit profound appreciation at all level. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister, I must acknowledge outstanding support that the PF received from the government of Pakistan under your able leadership despite challenges and stress of COVID pandemic. This milestone could not have been possible without your kind patronage in providing the fiscal space to equip Pakistan Air Force with this weapon system within a short, short span of eight months. I would like to make a special mention of the all-out support by the Chief of Army Staff. I may also mention that all ranks and files of Pakistan Air Force admire his vision and personal involvement to see the manifestation of this project. And, and I am also extremely grateful for his support in other PF projects of national importance. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony is also a testimony to the strong partnership between two brothers, Pakistan and China. Our commitment to work together in multiple domains is undoubtedly significant to ensure peace and stability in the region. I am extremely grateful to the Chinese political and military leadership as well as His Excellency Chinese Ambassador and his team in Pakistan for their assistance and cooperation. Effort by the management of CATIC and their staff is also worth praising. Lastly, I commend the dedication and the professionalism of my team for successful induction of this weapon system in a record time despite several challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, induction ceremony of J-10C aircraft has many significant aspects to it. Today, after a gap of almost four decades, Pakistan Air Force is inducting next generation combat system with all this concept, state of the art technology and weaponry. Last such event was in 1982 when F-16 aircraft joined the Pakistan fleet. Number 15 squadron, also known as Cobras, is the first Pakistan Air Force squadron to be equipped with J-10C Dragons. Ladies and gentlemen, on a personal note, number 15 squadron was my first unit where I began my journey as a fighter pilot. Later, I had the privilege to command this elite squadron also. Number 15 squadron has a glorious history of service to Pakistan, both during war and in peace. The squadron has the distinction 
of Bayef first kill on 10th April 1959 when fly lieutenant Muhammad Yunus shot down an Indian Air Force camera over Rawalpindi. Later, the unit actively participated in both 1965 and 75 wars. More recently, this squad provided the main offensive effort during Operation Swift Retard on 27th February 2019 with desired effect. Requipment of Cobras with j c is certainly a well-earned honor for this battle-tested and decorated PF squadron. At the same time, it has also placed a huge responsibility on the leadership and personnel of this unit to operationalize the capability as quickly as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, j c has a fully integrated weapons, avionics, and EW suite that make it a potent combat system under the contemporary environment of non-contact warfare. The aircraft is configured with world's top-class weapon, including PL-15 air-to-air missile and variety of stand-up position munitions, ISA radars, net-centric and sensor fusion capabilities, enable it to detect, engage, and destroy targets at long range, both in air-to-air -air as well as air-to-surface domain. With multi-domain capability, J-10C aircraft would indeed revolutionize Pakistan Air Force operational thought. It will enhance net-centric and integrated employment of electronic warfare while ensuring retention of first-shot capability. Undoubtedly, PAF has always been fully motivated, trained, and skilled to deter any aggression and misadventure regardless of the quantum of the threat. However, induction of this weapon system will further enhance Pakistan Air Force capability to effectively deal with the requirement of contemporary aerial warfare. I'm confident the pilot and the technician of number 15 multi-role squadron shall ensure smooth and swift induction of this capability with professionalism and commitment upholding Pakistan Air Force legacy, inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, alhamdulillah, under all challenging situation, Pakistan Air Force has proved equal to the task. PF has always fought outnumber and lived up to the expectation of our great nation. We have never attempted to match numbers nor wish to be in any arm race. However, we continue to enhance our capability to ensure national security and regional stability. Ladies and gentlemen, to meet contemporary threats, our focus is on strategic restructuring. In this regard, Pakistan Air Force is pursuing a well-crafted developmental strategy, smart induction programs, putting hands on niche and disruptive technologies, human resource de development with modern parameters from our nursery to professional military education, high quality combat training to maintain highest level of readiness across all domain and focused on major R&D to promote government indigenization effort for economic prosperity of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share that the aerospace industry is globally treated as strategic industry based on technological, fiscal, social, and national security dividends. It is projected at more than 10 trillion US dollar for next 20 years. Moreover, cyber, and IT industry also fall in line with aerospace industry owing to its tremendous growth and pivotal role. In this regard, government of Pakistan has undertaken several key initiatives, including formulation of special technology zone authority and national aviation policy to harness potential of aerospace, cyber, and IT industry. In line with the vision of His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Pakistan PF Alhamdulillah has launched a flagship project called National Aerospace Science and Technology Park, commonly known as NASTAP. The NASTAP project aimed to establish aerospace cluster at Kamra as well as Technopark in major cities and reputed university across Pakistan. The project is well poised to harness niche technologies, including robotics, UAVs, radars, software defined radios as well as futuristic capability in smart material, 3D printing, sensor fusion, supercomputing, artificial intelligence, to name a few. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to acknowledge the support of government of Pakistan in establishing this premier institution of aerospace and academia linkages. As a project of strategic national importance for which I express my extreme gratitude. PF will, inshallah, continue to bring good news for the nation and near future in this regard. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, I congratulate the whole nation on the induction of J-10C weapon system for Pakistan today. I once again sincerely thank His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, for his patronage and presence here today. I'm also extremely grateful to all distinguished guests for sparing their valuable time and gracing this historic event. May Allah bless our collective effort to fully contribute towards prosperity of people and progress of great nation. Ameen. Zindabad, Pakistan, Faindabad.